What's it like being Kevin Hart right now? Uh, Kevin Hart right now is great, dude. Uh, a lot of positive stuff happening, you know. Mm -hmm. People talking to me. Uh, kids love me. They love to play around with me. Not in like a pedophile way where like I'm like a <laughs> pervert, but like in like a, like, oh, he's cool. He's the fun guy. Like that. Like, you know, I push kids on swings. They push me back. It's cool. Let me ask you this. When it's all said and done, and we hope it's many years from now with great prosperity and your health, your finances and everything, but you're gone and your name comes up in conversations, mm -hmm. what do you want people to say about you? What do you want your legacy to be? I want people to remember Kevin Hart is a good person. You know, uh, yes, I take comedy serious. Yes, I'm good at my craft, and I respect everybody else that opened the doors up for me. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm a good person. You know, did what I was supposed to do for my family. On top of doing what I'm supposed to do for my family, I help others that I can. Uh, hopefully, I open up doors for other people to do the same thing that I did, the same way doors are open for me. Uh, with that being said, you know, a man that was focused, took life serious, uh, you know, took apples, turned apples into oranges, did what I could with whatever situation I had, mm. and uh, respect me for being a hard worker. Hopefully, I can make other people do the same. Kevin Hart, aka Chocolate Drop, right now you're watching brand news. Not new, news. Hello and welcome back to another BNZ World Reports Week in Review where hip hop has a new direction with positive news and important information from around the world and even up the street. I'm Christopher Martin, better known as Play, and I, along with Team BNZ, we want to thank you very much for taking time out of your schedule to join us for just a few minutes as we share just four of the many great stories reported last week featured on our News to Know section on brandnews.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram feed, and so much more. Monday through Friday, we post news to know from our various sources from television and print to the internet about individuals and events making a difference around the world. For more information about us, our social network connections, and how to contribute great stories, visit brandnews.com. So without any further delay, let's check out our first story, huh? Our first story comes from the UrbanDaily.com about industry veteran Michael Blue Williams and his gun buyback program. Michael has been given the green light for his project Guns for Greatness. This is a buyback program in which turning in weapons can get people in to see some of this summer's most anticipated concerts, like Jay-Z and Justin Timberlake's Legends of the Summer, Beyonce's The Mrs. Carter Show, and Alicia Keys' Girl on Fire Tour. NYPD Police Commissioner Raymond Kelly has approved Williams' plan and hopes her to get as many guns off the New York City streets as possible and to reward people for taking such positive actions. Blue says, a lot of these kids are going to want to get into music. It's about galvanizing the hip-hop community to help and to use our influence to make it happen. Blue is no stranger to the industry, as he has managed a long string of successful acts including OutKast, CeeLo Green, and Nas, to name a few. Congratulations, Blue. I salute you for a great idea. Make a, make a clap to this. Our second story comes from DNAinfo.com, and it's New York's PS38 recording studio teaches kids music through technology. Hassan Salam's office used to be an office, but a month ago, the PS38 parent coordinator's narrow space was transformed with speaker sets, keyboards, computers, a mixing board, and an array of other equipment. It's now the Network Recording Studios. Three days a week at the Burham Hill School, Salam teaches an after-school program on how to produce music in a recording studio using digital audio workstations. Salam began teaching the class on February 1st to students in kindergarten garden to fifth grade. The paid program costs $70 for an eight-week course and so far about 20 students have signed up. The music producer said he isn't looking for the next Alicia Keys or Quincy Jones. He simply wants his students to develop an understanding for different genres, their likes and dislikes, and also learn to respect each other's work. I salute you 
for your endeavors, PS38 in New York. Now it's time for a Team BNZ special report from our dude, Jay Sweet. What's good with you, Jay? Who is Roy Slovic? Uh, I am a son, a husband, a father, a believer in Christ and a artist. I just felt like music was the way to go. Um, and I haven't looked back since since about February 03. Um, just been really striving after that. Um, no plan B, because this is what I was told to do, so I don't see why I have a plan B. <laughs> to provide for his family, you know, it gets kind of hard, but I had a job working at Radio Shack, and uh, about a year into the marriage, she she was just like, why don't you just quit? <laughs> uh, three full-length albums, Autism, Acoustic Incentive, this last album that we just released, My Hopeless Romance, I, I really draw close to that one. I wanted, I really named it that because I wanted to to show what love is. There's all different types of love and you normally only hear about the romantic side of love. I wanted to kind of pick at the irony a little bit, my hopeless romance, because the song, the album is not romantic. <laughs> I feel like as an artist, the song should, should touch you, you know what I mean? And then touch others. The song should teach you something and then teach others. I mean, that's not like that for everybody. You got your food and your liquor, you know? So, um, I'd rather my music be food, but that's another topic. <laughs> Great story, Jay, as always. And to Mr. Lovett, we wish you the best. Now for our last but not least story is from the New York Daily News titled in part, A Hip Hop Walking Tour. Now when I first got wind of this story, I didn't understand it and I wasn't quite feeling it, but after thorough research, I was like, whoa, this idea is kind of hot. If you like New York rappers, now you can walk the talk. Take for example, The Rhyme. On 139th and Lenox Ave, there's a big park, but if you're soft, don't go through it when it gets dark. That's from Big L's Rhyme on the 1995 CD classic, Lifestyles of the Poor and Dangerous. You can now find that quote on a sign at that very spot, thanks to artist Jay Shells. The lifelong New Yorker had his interest sparked by the rapped about imagery of the dangerous Harlem Park. This led to his latest street art project to see and mark different hip hop locales, called Rap Quotes. Shell spent a weekend with the website Animal putting quotes on signs in 30 different spots throughout New York City that are mentioned in rap songs, giving the city its first unofficial hip hop history tour. And that reminds me of an official tour led by two good friends, rap pioneers and icons, Grandmaster Cass and JDL of the Cold Crush Brothers. That's a tour you need to check out as well. And I look forward to bringing that story to you real soon. Before we go anywhere, we got another Team BNZ senior reporter that wants to share something with you really special. Angela Ray, what's good? Hi, this is Angela Ray with this Ray of Motivation Minute for the BNZ World Report. And Ray of Motivation to number 20 from my new book, Rays of Motivation, which is available on Amazon.com, reads, when you get knocked down, don't settle for the knockout. You know, so many times in life, there are things that knock us down that get us off track from the path, from our goals, whether those obstacles are family, friends, neighbors, our church, finances, even our own health. And as March is Women's History Month, I know no better example of a woman who has taken this ray of motivation to heart than Robin Roberts. As many of you know, Robin Roberts was diagnosed with breast cancer a few years ago and in 2012 received another diagnosis and of a devastating blow of MDS. But Robin did not take this knockdown and turned it into a knockout. She fought back and we are so happy that she is back in the anchor seat at Good Morning America. Again, ray of motivation number 20. When you get knocked down, 
don't settle for the knockout. I would love to connect with you on Facebook. You can visit me at facebook.com forward slash the Angela Ray. And if you'd like more information about Rays of Motivation or stories or people that you would like for me to highlight, email me at Angela at brandnews.com. Make it a great week. Awesome as always. And y'all need to support her and check out that book. You know where to peep it? Angela at brandnews.com. On behalf of myself, Team BNZ with Amani, J Sweet, Angela, Sincerus, I mean, the list goes on. We thank you very much. And if you want to contribute great, important, effective stories, please check us out at brandnews.com. I look forward to seeing you again next week. And thank you very much for your support. God bless you all. And remember, Brand News is where hip hop has a new direction.